time to uh, get this juggling routine was it beat train juggling yeah. clubs so it is, this is the one that we've decided that I'm going to be doing at the uh, upcoming juggling conventions where I send in a video of a juggling act uh, we don't have an indoor space to juggle in but it's a really nice day so I'm coming out here to do my first outdoor juggling session pretty much of the entire year oh yes and uh, we found this uh, well we know this is calisthenic no what do you say calisthenics calisthenics place here in Vildau uh, where we live and some sand so I'm going to take my shoes off and do this juggling club routine right go for it so here's uh, here's the plan. Is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like put a baseline of like where I need to get this juggling routine to be able to film it in one take with Juliana moving the camera around, and uh, it's not gonna be this attempt. <laughs> we'll find a better location. Um, but uh, yeah, I've not juggled through this routine since like September last year. So I'm gonna put the music on and just lay out the clubs, press play, and then just see how many drops there are, how much I can remember, just to have a baseline of what's gonna go on. Juliana just asked me. Are you going to start doing this without any warm-up, just straight into it? Yes, without any warm-up. Here's the thing, I design all of my juggling routines that if I go on stage and I'm not quite warmed up right at that moment, I'm not immediately doing a big trick or a difficult trick. So when I do my diabolo routine, I just throw the diabolo and catch it on the string. <laughs> like nothing That's to do. When I do the three ball and video routine, it starts with cross, 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 like throwing backwards and forwards and stuff like that. So the idea is that if I'm not warmed up at all, the f opening choreography hopefully will make it work for me. That if I remember it in this case. That's yeah. so yeah, that's that's a key thing. If you're gonna be a professional juggler, don't start with the biggest trick you know. <laughs> you're just gonna be disappointed. Well good. Okay, uh, actual first attempt, uh, we didn't press record on the camera. I think it's because both of us have been using the camera and neither of us remembered. Oh it's actually now my job to press record. Alright then. Uh, press play. On the music. Yeah on the music. I need to hear the music. A little bit windy. Yeah, and then over here, squeeze catches. Oh. The Luke Wilson club set. <laughs> ah, then we come over here. Three club section, here we go. That was two drops in the two club section. Uh, oh, that really hurts doing that with these old clubs. So I'm gonna just pretend I did that. Um, don't remember this section at all. Oh, maybe here? Oh no, to there. Now a real tricky bit. Da, da, da. Five clubs. Da, da. Oh, <laughs> it's not there. Not too bad. Okay. Uh, what do you think about a first run through of that routine? Not bad for haven't, not having it done for so long. Yeah, well it's not just not doing it. My, wow, my fitness is way down. Yeah. My fitness is way down. That's the first proper like club juggling I've done in months and months and months. But how long is this piece? Well, I ha this is like six and a half minutes, pretty much of continuous juggling all the yeah. way through. Uh, so I made four drops in total, three, were, no, five drops in total, three in the three club section, two in the two club section, uh, four club, weirdly the four club, oh no, and one in the five, so six drops in total. Uh, but yeah, my fitness is, uh, been okay but I had a broken rib and it's pretty much healed now but it means I've not been doing very much fitness stuff. A active stuff yeah and you need to endure this like yeah. all the time. So yeah. uh, one, I've got to remember the choreography especially oh, in that yes. three club section. Yes. I just got to remember which order the uh, the section because if I'm if the choreography is correct for a while it's in with the music it, and I remember where I'm up in, but yeah. when I went to the wrong section I'm like mm. Mm, nothing here feels no. familiar mm. so yeah. uh, got to work on that. Anyway Get thanks for order. filming you're gonna head back home you're gonna go, work? Go to work. Back I'm gonna to do work. some more juggling here. All right. All right. I'll see you back home. New vlog update tomorrow maybe when I've done this again. Yeah. Six drops. I can improve on that pretty much before the end of today. All right, I've been juggling for about, what, an hour? Um, running through routines, five club practice, etc. I'm gonna do it again and hopefully this time I can remember the uh, choreography.
Okay, I think that was about five drops. One in the two clubs, maybe two in the three clubs, four clubs as a drop, and five clubs, I think also a drop, maybe at the end there. Don't know, so about five drops is what we're looking for, and all of the choreography has come back into my head, which is uh, kind of the thing that I was aiming for today. All right, that finishes day one. It's day two, <laughs> yes. although there's been like a week a and a half. Gap. Yeah, big gap. The weather was fantastic, at 20 degrees, and then we had literally snow last week, so this is the next time. Uh, the plan was to actually come here, and this time juggle it down here in the, uh, on the soft padded area. Well, of it's course. Sunday. It's Sunday, and, and it's, it's really sunny, sunny. And so, of course, it's. Cool. So, I think what I'm going to do is set up in the shade over by the trees, under Max's tree. Should we do it? Yeah, sounds good. All right. So where's the stage and where's the audience? Well, you're the audience. This is the, the stage. Sure. Working out. I'm gonna put my headphones in. Thankfully, yeah. nobody's playing music beforehand. There seemed to be like a, a music off where there's like three different people playing oh, German there was rap some music at the same there, time. And yeah. Music there. So. Uh, but it's not so. Audible, but I've got to listen yeah. with this with the headphones anyway. Yeah. So the good thing about these headphones is you can actually do pirouettes and stuff with them on, as long as you tuck it underneath the t-shirt, uh -huh. like that, and then when you spin it around, it holds it there. Oh. Oh, these I'm shoes actually, are a bit... Yeah, I bought some shoes to use on the on the thing and it's not wouldn't be appropriate on grass. Yeah. But now I'm wearing these uh, my uh, mountain, mountain biking, biking shoes. shoes, which have got no grip. You see the grip here? So, no grip. Uh, pirouettes might not be forthcoming. Let's see if I can do this. The plan this time. Last time was just trying to remember the choreography, although that's still a week and a half ago, so maybe I won't remember it. Now uh, it's to improve consistency. Last time I did it twice. I ran through the whole routine twice when I was counting the drops with four drops. So I need to get that down to maybe today one drop. Let's see how it works out. Go for it. Again with the mountain biking shoes, but let's see how it works out. There we go along here. Three club sections. Ah, that's not a drop. That wasn't a drop. Hmm. You say that. These shoes have got these bits of Velcro to keep the laces out of the chain, yeah. So, there you go. That's not good. Kick ups, I need to train the kickers with the other shoes. Yes. Da -da -dum. Da -da -dum. Look between the eyes, look between the fingers. <laughs> I think it's a bit windy for that. I'm like sideways onto the wind yeah. for five clubs. At least I finished on the music. <laughs> well done. I mean, did you count the drops? Uh, I think I count like seven. Yeah. Yeah. One at uh, the two club section, okay-ish. Three clubs I messed up with the back cross and then a bit at the end. Four clubs was a disaster and five clubs I didn't even do the five club juggling. <laughs> didn't even get into a cascade. Yeah. Alright, it's a pretty good start, I okay. think. Okay, well now you're warmed up. I'm definitely warmed up now, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. Kick up. What's there oh yeah, yeah. So the worst thing about these, uh, well, the, one of the most important things about kickups is foot feel. So if we come down here, you can see that you need to be able to feel feel the kick up at different points. You need to be able to feel the clubber here against there and there, but also to make sure that everything's good. Because if it's slightly offline, you need to be able to feel the club there on the top of your foot. Because if it's like this, you can't feel it here, um, but you can feel it on top of the foot. So you know that if you actually do the motion, you'll be able to kick it up. Whereas at the moment, sometimes the club is like that, and I just don't feel it at all. Right. Okay. It's in the right yeah, position, but there's no way there's no way for me to feel that it's in the right position. So yeah. yes, don't try and do juggling routines with uh, biking shoes on. It's just I don't have any other pairs of shoes. <laughs> I need to just go shopping and get some summer shoes. Or but, you get your performance yeah. shoes. No, I can't use my performance shoes because they're like leather. They're like black leather with like flat bottoms. Like they're they're good for they're good for you know walking around at a formal dinner. Okay. And also performing on stage, but very much not good for, for grass. Grass. Um, so. Uh, these are the shoes that I have, and I don't feel comfortable just juggling here with bare feet. Okay. Over on the sand I would, but it's kind of busy over there yeah, at the moment. Yeah, pretty busy. All right, yep. well, no kick-ups then. No, kick-up, well, I'll do the kick-ups. Okay. Just struggle with the kick-ups, because if I can okay. do it perfectly that I don't have to feel it, that I'm just trusting that the throw down onto the kick-up is perfect, yeah. that's great. Let me show you. Uh, yeah, we can do some, I'll just do the kick-up section here. Can you see me? Yeah. All right, so. To catch it there, like that's perfect to do it. The, the better way of doing it is so it doesn't touch the floor. So if I can catch it and kick it up without it touching the floor. Oh, I see. You see what I mean? So yeah. if I do this, I have like a, an opportunity to get it perfect and then kick it up. The other way to do it is to is to catch it out of the air, like this. Oh yeah, this is how Luke Wilson did it, didn't he? He did well, this, this is like a Luke Wilson inspired routine. So, so on the left side, and then uh, I'm not so good on the on the uh, 
on the right side of that. So sometimes I'll let it touch the floor and you get away with it with that. Um, and then, yeah, then the triple kick up. In See, the that's wind. Actually, that's actually slightly easier mm. with these shoes on, mostly because I get to put them down here. Yeah. Like, I get to adjust it slightly. I'm not catching the... <laughs> I'm not just catching Or them. not. Yeah, I get it. Maybe not slightly easier. Yeah. But at least I get to decide where they go. So when I do the kick up, you can actually catch it. That looks much better already. <laughs> Don't say that! <laughs> anyway, these are not the right shoes for that. Okay. But I'm making it work. All right, second run through. Second run through, much, much better. Two drops in the whole thing. One with at the end of the three club section where I just do something into the sun and drop. Even yeah. with the sunglasses, sometimes that happens. And then, did I do the four club section without any drops? I can't remember. Yeah, but yeah. No, mostly no. wind and yeah. sun. No, what happens, I did a kick up. And I was like, oh, I'll go into a different position because the, the, the wind is blowing this way. And I kicked up the club and it hit the tree. So, yeah. uh, so I'm okay with like one drop, which was my fault, mm. and another drop, which is there's a, there's a tree in the sun there. That, yeah. That's okay. So and I'm good. Sudden gusts of wind. Yeah, sudden gusts of wind. And I still haven't got the kick up into five clubs just because of the wind. I don't know why. Like now there's not too much wind. As soon as yeah. I get to the five club section, it's not like, it knows <laughs> it. we're on this like eight minute cycle of yes. wind coming along. Hmm. All right, I'm really happy with that. Cool. What are you doing now? Well, in the routine, I was very pleased with myself going all the way through with just one drop, except until I got to the very end, and then of course the five club went to went to hell. Let me put it that way. Partly it was I was distracted and I was like trying to keep up with the music. So now I just practice it a bit with uh, without the music and without the pressure. And can I do the five club routine? And also without wind. <laughs> Oh no, I did the six catches again. Well, let's see if, if I do that by accident, can I go into it? Oh yeah. All right, that's good. Uh, in another routine that I was working on last time I was doing serious club juggling, I have to do six five club back crosses in a row. And in this routine, I've got to do five five club back crosses in a row. And I, was, and I keep doing six because that's where my brain is naturally right now. But it seems to be working. Cool. Now it's windy again. There, the wind is back. <laughs> that was a that was a shoe a shoe related shoe kick issue. Up shoe-related kick-up issue. I just kicked the club miles away. Wind. I think I'm a bit close to the tree, but that's good. That's five, that's better. There's this move that I do here, where I do this um, multiplex catch, uh, multiplex those, and every single time I'm catching it like that, but then I've got to do a scissor catch, and this is the worst position for a scissor catch to be in. What you really want a scissor catch to be in is this position. So what I'm doing is each time I'm getting to the end of the routine, I'm actually using this muscle here to bump the clubs <laughs> You're to get stabbing like yourself. You don't. You probably don't see it, but I notice this every single time. Like a catch like that. Do you see that there? That little. No. No, exactly. This is a little thing that in the routine it's always like a funny moment because I'm like nobody's going to notice that. Yes, I saw it. You saw it that time? Yeah. Although I did actually catch them pretty, pretty, pretty close together. It just allows it, that little tap there just allows them to line up perfectly and I never have to worry about it. That's the kind of things that's in my head when I'm doing the routine. It's not what you see. It's these little motions that I'm doing with my body just to go, line up the clubs perfectly, scissor catch. So, How many times did you get through that now? Uh, well, I think that's like the fourth time, fifth, fifth time through. I don't know. Anyway, very, very good. Only one drop all the way through, and it was to do with the, it was to do with the shoes, it was to do with the shoes. Only one drop all the way through to the start of the uh, four club section, start of the four club section, and then just this thing where I have four clubs in my hand and I do a back cross with one club, but with four clubs in my hand. I don't know. I just messed it up. It just caught somewhere. I'm not sure what happened. And then I was distracted, and there's some guys smoking uh, over there, and that was distracting Juliana, and then that was distracting me. There was this whole brain fuckery going on in my head, which I need to get over. So I'm going to do the routine one more time today, and uh, then that's it, I think, for today. Cool. Oh, I've got to do a better choreography at the the whole thing. 
Yes. Okay, I guess if you film until I drop, that means if I don't drop until the right yard to get to the uh, five club section. No, did I do it at the end of the four club? No, five club. That was the first yes. drop, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, in the two clubs, when I was sitting down on the two clubs, I think I missed it at the two clubs. But yeah, that's pretty good, I think. But it was about like minor mistakes. It yeah, felt no, like there, was, you were there, was definitely... a, there was one, there, like at the start, I did a fumble with the two clubs at the end of the two club routine, I think. And then, yeah, uh, all the way up until the kick up in the wind into the yes. five club back crosses, which again, I thought the again, pressure oh, at that oh, moment. At the end, uh, the yeah. wind picked up again. I thought, like, how, how fitting. Yeah, so uh, that's good. All right, I think that's the end of the session. I cool. got it down to, well, not one drop, but like one major mistake. And it's right at the end, and I know in a studio condition with the right shoes on, mm. I can do the five club kick up into, into five clubs. And because it's, that's purely about the wind at the and moment. And the choreography is back in What's place. What's that? The choreography is back in place. Yes. Yeah, totally. I realize now I'm running through it and I'm not thinking about what happens next, what happens next. Yeah. The muscle memory is back or like the, the choreography. It's like singing a song, like you can't remember the words and after the first time through then you're like, you don't have to think about the words anymore. That's what happens with juggling. Nice. So, all right, nice juggling session. What was that? That was just an hour and, hour and five minutes or something like that? Sweet. Nice, sweet session. Let's get, let's get home. Um, we have just done some uh, more uh, preparation for the video that we're going to make, record here. This isn't, this isn't my juggling, this is actually we've been training you, Liana's camera work. Exactly. Learning how well, to frame, learning when to do zooming in, zooming yeah. out. Well it wasn't, it's not about learning it now, it's sort of like we look back through this video that Juliana uh, videoed of me and I kind of made some notes on the screen, I mean maybe we can see some of them as well, you know, sort of like more space down here, you know, uh, try to reframe quicker. Uh, but one of the most uh, uh, helpful things I think is when I said what I want, uh, what was it? You, you said it, what was that thing well, that I said, I the, can't remember. the way that I'm filming uh, action, like the, if I'm film, filming the combat, yeah, fine. Um, I, yeah, I do way more. I move around. I, I do also go somewhere. I'm not only zooming in, but I'm also, if I see what's going on, I anticipate, oh, yeah. now they're going to go out. And then I quickly reframe. Yeah. And so it goes from like focusing on the juggling, like, oh, a high throw. And it zooms out and catches yes. that action. And then it comes back in. Yes. It's mostly to do, I think, with confidence and energy. So I want yeah. the same confidence and energy that Juliana has with uh, filming Fight Night Combat, which she just, she's the best at it because she's just done it so much. Uh, that same kind of confidence and energy energy so that's what we were giving feedback for and then specific bits of choreography which isn't very interesting for the vlog but I thought we'd, uh, we'd, we'd, we'd do a quick update here all right you're feeling confident I feel more confident yeah also the thing is we, Juliana was filming all this not being able to hear the music and which then makes the, it quite difficult yeah so once we able to, once we're both able to hear the music and follow along we know exactly where we are what the energy is what tricks are coming up yeah. so uh, it's going to be important for both of us to get into a position where Juliana can also hear the music yes i'm going to be good all right let's do it